uh, this paper is on the value of cystoscopy with other extension for interstitial cystitis. Uh, so, cystal with hydroextension is the most common diagnostic procedure uh, performed in ICU patients. Uh, in the late 1980s, the NIDDK established uh, diagnostic criteria for IC, uh, which were meant for research purposes. Uh, however, uh, many urologists adopted these uh, diagnostic criteria uh, to make uh, clinical diagnosis of IC in their practices. Um, the NIDDK criteria uh, include uh, cystoscopy uh, to make the diagnosis. Uh, more specifically, uh, you need to have either a presence of uh, glomerulations or a Hunter's ulcer, Hunter's ulcer to make the diagnosis. Uh, however, uh, the presence of glomerulations uh, are now essentially the more specific for IC. Uh, glomerulations can be seen in patients who are worked up by their urological conditions. And in patients who have uh, symptoms of IC, uh, the presence of glomerulations is not always seen. Uh, recently, there's been three international consensus conferences on IC, uh, during which the uh, utility of cystoscopy for IC has been uh, a topic of debate. Uh, so we sought to answer two research questions. Uh, does cysto with hydroextension uh, give you information above and beyond the history and physical exam? For diagnosing IC, and secondly, does cystic with hydro extension uh, offer a therapeutic uh, benefit? Uh, so we looked at 86 consecutive IC patients, 68 women and 16 men. Uh, they were studied ret retrospectively. Uh, a diagnosis of IC was made uh, based on history and physical examination, uh, the boarding diaries, pup questionnaire, and a negative uh, urinalysis, urine culture, and cytology. All patients uh, which were seen were offered cystoscopy with hydro extension. Uh, however, only 47 patients uh, decided to undergo this procedure. Um, so we compared patients who decided to undergo the cystoscopy with hydro extension versus those who declined. Uh, we looked at age, duration of symptoms. Uh, we looked at their voiding characteristics, including their daily voided volumes, their nighttime voided volumes, their uh, um, their voiding frequency during the day and night, uh, the amount of nocturia, um, as well as their pop questionnaire scores, and the uh, presence of presence or absence of pain symptoms. Um, in addition, the cystic with hydro patients were then followed uh, for a therapeutic response. So this table uh, shows the uh, comparison between patients who underwent cystic with hydro extension versus those who did not. Uh, the age was uh, similar between both groups, uh, mean age of 40. Uh, the duration of symptoms was not statistically different between the two groups, so about uh, seven years in the cystal group and five years in the non cystal group, and this was uh, similar to what we'd seen in a previous study. Uh, the amount of nocturia was uh, the same between the both groups three times a night. Um, uh, the daytime frequency was not statistically different, uh, the nighttime voided volume was uh, around 150 cc's and was not different between the two groups. Uh, the top questionnaire scores were the same. Uh, the only differences were the, uh, the daytime voided volume, which was slightly different between the two groups, and the patients who elected to un undergo uh, cystic with hydro extension often reported more pain than the uh, uh, group that declined. Uh, this graph shows the therapeutic response to cystic with hydro extension. Um, there's Slight, uh 56% uh, of patients had some improvement, while 44% had no improvement. Uh, however, the duration of improvement was very modest. There was only a two-month uh, mean duration of improvement, and there was quite a wide range. Um, if you look at the median uh, duration of improvement, it was only several weeks. Uh, there was one patient that had a response that was about 24 months, and that skewed the mean. So it was a very modest improvement. Uh, so what does this mean? So we interpreted this as showing that cystoscopy yields little information um, above the clinical evaluation um, as a diagnostic test in IC. There's no findings on the on cystoscopy which uh, we found uh, changed the initial diagnosis. Uh, essentially no, no new information was gained um, by doing uh, cystoscopy powder extension in these two groups which were shown to be um, similar in, in their clinical characteristics. 
uh, when should CISO uh, be performed? Well, it should be performed to exclude bladder cancer when it's suspected. Uh, this will be in patients who presented with either gross or microscopic hematuria um, or had other risk factors based on their history. And in these patients, um, you know, flexible cystoscopy would likely be appropriate. Uh, you know, they shouldn't have a system with high extension. And we found that the therapeutic potential uh, appears modest at best, and that uh, goes along with some other studies which have shown the same. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, IC should remain a uh, clinical diagnosis. The end.